Hey, how's it going, Chuck? Sound Survival Tactics. You see on the floor here, I have my Wing Chun footwork diagram. This is from an old footwork video that I did. And recently, Dimitri asked if I could explain this diagram a little bit further. And I'll start with just a general explanation of uh, what's going on here. Uh, this is a general idea of the different directions that you can move out of your uh, Wing Chun stance, right? And your Kimi Ma set up here. This represents different directions that you can go from your Wing Chun stance, right? Just like this. Generally what this diagram is for is practicing drills like the closing step and turning. Uh, there's so many moving parts to the closing step that uh, this will give you uh, repress points for your feet after you've done your closing step and when you're doing your outfall back to your Kimi Ma or when you've done your closing step and you're in your Jin Ma, this gives you reference for your feet, okay? And that can all be done really with just one single line, the, the center line here. This is probably the most important line out of this whole diagram. This represents your center line this should be dissecting your feet, okay? And if you're in your stance, your Kimi Ma, the outside angles here represent the 60 degrees that your feet should be in. And the middle line is your representing your center line, and it should be running right down the middle of your stance here. If you're unfamiliar with the closing step, this is a closing step. That is an outfall step. Basic footwork for Wing Chun, close, outfall, okay? Closing step, Jin Ma, outfall, back to Kimi Ma. Practice this all day long, all right? Basics are always best. And if we wanted to work on our turning, okay? Let's say this is my one center line here. So again, Kimi Ma, the line, now should be going through your arches here in your Kimi Ma. And if you're going to be working on turning, turning happens one foot at a time. Outside foot always turns first. So if I'm going to be turning to my right, right turns, then left turns. Now, look at feet 45, line still runs through my arches. Turn back to middle, okay, back the other way. Again, feet 45, right down the middle of my arches. So again, if you wanna make one of these diagrams, all you need to do is start with this center line. And then from there, you, you can get a protractor app on your phone if you wanna get really specific for your 60 degree angles here, but you know that in your head. And so off of here, you know, you just make your, your triangle and you know that you gotta be 60 degrees in your feet here. And from there, you just work on your closing step. 45 degrees, hips and shoulders square, sunk in your stance and your gym mom. Balance should be 80 on the, general reference for balance is 80 on the rear, 20 on the front. So what does that mean? After we've done our closing step here, we do a proper closing step. After we've done our closing step here, 80% weight on the back leg, 20% on the front leg. This allows us to do our kicks if we need to, okay? And also allows us to move this front leg. Somebody were to sweep, okay? Somebody was to sweep here, they could simply go around the sweep and still have my balance, right? And then back to Kimi Ma. That was a quick explanation of the Wing Chun footwork diagram. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it out, and consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. You'll get notified of future videos as they come out. If you'd like to see even more Wing Chun videos, be sure to check out one of these and I will see you over there. Take care.